Hello everyone, and welcome to your Block 5 Court of Honor Ceremony. My name is Brandon Waite, I'm the Executive Director and Principal of Paladin, and I'm here to start us off uh, with a Court of Honor Ceremony. So first off, 49. 49 students earn the Court of Honor. That is truly amazing in Block 5, and equally amazing, if not more, 97 credits. Uh, I'm not certain, but I'm pretty certain that is a record. 97 credits. Truly amazing. Once again, you as students continue to amaze us as educators. You guys are absolutely killing it uh, in a distant learning model. And we can't wait to see you. Uh, a couple of things. You can see that I'm sporting some pretty cool paladin gear. Got my nifty hat with the patch. Got a pretty cool t-shirt. Uh, I'm rocking the 90s style with my long sleeve underneath. Um, feel free to bring it back. Uh, but we do have cool t-shirts and a hat we got for every single student. So the next time we see you, make sure to talk to your SSC uh, and pick up your hat and t-shirt. Speaking of can't wait to see you, uh, we have rolled out our phase into hybrid model starting this week. We are inviting students in every single day uh, in limited capacity to get every student used to coming back to school, seeing us doing the safety protocols. Wear your mask, be safe, social distance, stay home when you're sick. If we do those things, we believe we can safely return back to hybrid model, which is our goal. So we are doing the phase in approach starting this week. In the next couple of weeks, we'll be inviting more and more students back to hopefully get as many as you into our building to get reacquainted with our safety protocols, being back in person. And on Wednesday, March 3rd, we're rocking the, the hybrid model, which will look very similar to the fall. So if you're here with us in the fall, we're doing the one day a week, uh, or quad day, talk to your SSC if you don't know what that day is. Um, and we're going to uh, extending that time until 2.30. So we're going a little bit longer. Next, I'd like to talk about Brandon's contemplations. So this block is my favorite commitment. Um, I love being curious. And you see it on the wall, you hear me say it all the time, be curious, not judgmental. Um, to me, it's very simple in practice, although it's taken a lifetime to master and I'm still working on it every single day. So here's what that mean means, be curious, not judgmental really it's just about being curious it's about being aware of your assumptions it's about not being judgmental and i get it i go to my assumptions the story i'm telling myself i go to judgments uh, but what it is about being curious is taking a pause it's about taking a breath and taking a step back it's about asking questions we all have our learned experiences uh, based on where we grew up, how we grew up, the way we grew up. Uh, we see things from our own lens and that doesn't make it, it, us right all the time. It also doesn't make us wrong. What it does give us is our own perception, the way we see things, and that's okay. But what we can't do is place judgment or assumptions on others. So about being curious is about asking questions. It's about, hey, can you, can I, can you tell me more about that? It's about learning about others. So you can do that by asking. Asking to figure out what's going on. Why do they believe that or think that? And when you can know someone better, you can understand where they're coming from. And that doesn't make them right or wrong, but, it was, but it, what, what, it, what it does do is that it gives you information. And then you can both leave a situation, a conversation, whatever that's happening. And maybe you won't get along, maybe you won't see eye to eye, but my, our hope is that you can see the other point, person's point of view. And it's just not about people, this is just not about interactions. Uh, being curious and not judgmental is not taking everything you hear as fact, not taking everything you read on social media as truth. It's about being curious. It's about being a lifelong learner. If one thing you learn from Paladin, my hope is that you do more research, you form your own opinions, and you be curious. Don't be judgmental. This block is my favorite commitment about curiosity and our 
Super Awesome Care Team is up next. And they're gonna do a deeper dive of our commitments. So Care Team, you're up. Block six, it is time for some curiosity, being open to explore the unknown. Here comes some love from your Paladin care team. Care team, what do you call a curious crocodile? What, Ray? What? I don't know, Ray. What? An investigator. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. All right, you guys, let's block our nightly commitment is curiosity or being open to explore the unknown. So with me, pull out your magnifying glasses and get ready to be curious. What was the last thing that you remember being curious about? Let's take this block to spend some time being curious about something in your life. Being open to explore the unknown. Why is it that so much of our nation's history is not taught in school? And why don't we learn the history of our neighborhoods? Join Coach Ray, and me in SEL class as we uncover, understand, and acknowledge the real history of the United States. Curiosity leaves judgment out of the equation. Where does curiosity come from? And how do we just get curious? I say it takes a lot of practice and many filters we have. It's time to be curious enough to find a real purpose in life. Remember that argument you had yesterday with someone that you believed had your best interest at heart? Would that argument be worth the voice you gave it a year ago or a year from now? How curious are you to let it go and move on? We are a community. And sometimes we get curious about each other from time to time. That's all right, because we are Paladin Strong. Oh, hey, reading's pretty lit. Speaking of reading being lit, I have the pleasure to introduce the one and only, one of our favorite SSCs, Educator Gabby, is gonna be taking it away uh, and announcing the quarter of honor earners and the top point earners. Gabby, you're up. Hey Paladin family, here to announce your top score earners for the month of January block five. Our top teams for the month of January in third place, we had Christine's team with 150.9 average points. Very impressive. In second place, we had Tana's team with 189 average points. And in first place, with an unprecedented record-breaking 210.6 average points. Heidi's team. We have actually never had a team earn more than 200 points in a month on average. So that is a huge success for Heidi's team. Our top monthly earners this month in the category of duty, we had 23 students with perfect attendance who also completed their goals and reflections in block five. 23, that's huge. In civility, our top point earners were Samira Boima and Keisha Johnson, who both earned 55 civility points. Um, and our top civility issuer, the person who gave the most civility points to other staff or students, is Zahara Zagir. She issued eight. Our top achievement earner for the month of January with 395 points, that's close to four credits, was Miss Alize Hall. And our top total point earner, also Miss Alize Hall with 463 Court of Honor points. I wanna give a shout out to the Court of Honor members and student of the months whose names are scrolling by here. 
There are 49 Court of Honor members, which is higher than we've ever seen before. Great job, everybody, and hope to see you all top those numbers in block six. All right, hi guys, my name is Santo, and I just wanted to let you know a little things, some things about tree tries. And one thing is, is it's a good program. You get school credit, and plus you get paid for it, so. That's the plus, that's, that's what had me right there, I'm not gonna lie. We do Habitat for Humanity and like build houses. Like you, it's like a done house and you go in there and you like do like sheet rocking or like window framing, trimming, or like certain things you can do. Or, um, or like building garages, stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. There's another part is tree care. And we, all, we go outside and we're like, Right now we're learning tree identification. So we like identify trees in the winter. So like by their, their seeds, and like the bark of the tree. Um, we prune trees. So like we'll have like a saw and like really long saw. We like cut trees down, help them. So like they grow better and like they live longer. So like if there's a limb like hanging off, we'll finish cut. Like if it's just hanging there, we'll cut it off. So it doesn't fall, like hurt nobody. Um, if the tree's injured or already dead, or if it has like decay in it, we'll chop the tree down. And you can use, like there's, you can use a chainsaw, but you have to be 18. That's the, that's the sad part. Then they teach you like, oh, this is another thing. They teach you like real names about the tools. So like the real names, so like if you call it like a sawzall, it's like actually called a reciprocating saw. So you have to like use that. And, and if you're not good at like, they help you with anything that you need to know. So like, if you don't know nothing about carpentry or like tree care, like like me, for instance, I knew like very minimal. And now like, now that like we've been there for a minute, we have just been learning a lot. They teach you everything you need to know. I recommend it, it's really fun. And like I said, you get paid and you get school credit. So that's the biggest, that's the biggest thing. Hi, my name is Sam Shagrin. I've been working at Tree Trust. My favorite project so far would have to be the shed that we've been working on because we've been doing the siding and learning all sorts of new things on building a shed and like basically mathematics that goes into it and just learning different skills that you probably wouldn't expect maybe a high schooler would even like get to do. So. Uh, we've been working on the siding on the shed, the roof, the drywall, and then the framing. I've learned so much there, but if I were to pick my favorite thing I've learned, it's probably the shed also. But I'd say probably learning the power tools as well is also another thing that we've learned. And then I would definitely recommend this because also you get so many benefits from this and you get paid as well. You all know I love those positive vibes. Positive vibes makes for positive lives. What's Vibe out with the Vibe Control team? You're up. Vibe Control! You are seen. You are heard. You are loved. Hey, Loki. Hey, you want to be a part of the animal care team? Maybe? Speaking of animal care and the Paladin Zoo, uh, our animal care team has some Valentine's Day uh, words for you. Animal care team, you're up. Happy Valentine's Day from Animal Care. This is our precious gecko, little boy, our sugar glider, Hercules and Zeus, and our rabbits, Anna and Elsa, and then our guinea pigs, carrot and Oreo. And then our red spider turtle, wild action. You could 
party on dudes like Bill and Ted in their excellent adventure. Or you could learn how to play the real guitar with the one and only Brett. Brett, tell us more. Hi, some of you may need some art credit. And one thing that comes under the category of art is music. And maybe you have an interest in learning how to play guitar. Well, we have an opportunity for you. We have a guided project on how to play guitar. And I have to tell you, before I took my own class on how to play guitar, I struggled mightily with playing. Yeah, those were some pretty dark days for everyone in my house who had to listen to that when I was practicing. But after I took my own class on how to play guitar, I improved a lot. Let's just look at what happened in a week. <laughs> So if you want to learn how to play some guitar, just ask me for the link and I'll get you signed up for the Guided Project Google Classroom. And you'll be playing Smoke on the Water or something better in no time at all. Hey, hon, is the heat on? It's cold in here. I know, nothing like some warm fuzzies with Kaylin to warm you up. Kaylin, you're up. Hello, Knights, and welcome to this month's edition of our Paladin Warm Fuzzies. I'm Caitlin, and I'm so glad you're here. I'd like to encourage you all to just take a moment now and take a deep breath. I know that this year has thrown us so many challenges, and I know that it's hard to stay positive and stay motivated, but I know, I know that you are capable of brilliant things. And I wanna just encourage you to keep showing up for yourself, to show up for each other in whatever way you can. So we thought we would take a moment to do some live shouting out of some of our favorite friends and send them some warm fuzzies. So Tequila, take it away. Um, I would like to give Delilah's civility point <laughs> for being kind-hearted. I would like to give my shout out to Derek and his wife for showing kindness, um, maturity, respect. I would like to give a civility point to Ray and Maria for being helpful and giving me good advice. I'm giving one to Tequila uh, for contacting me before Circle and not waiting for my tech to come through. So uh, I really like the initiative. So keep it up, Tequila. Um, another person I want to give a shout out to is uh, a civility point is Maria. Um, she has uh, come in the circle and just uh, wants to work out with us and has been just a great uh, person in our community. And so thank you, Maria and Tequila. So my first warm fuzzy goes out to Mr. Jacob Bow for all of his help with the newbies in D&D. &D. That is so kind of you, Jacob, to help everybody that's uh, coming in new. Uh, my next one, Fuzzy, goes out to Derek for helping our students get to circle every day. Uh, that's an important warm fuzzy because it was given by a student, so thank you um, for helping students show up for themselves and each other. I have another warm fuzzy to give to Mr. Casey Mead for being an amazing co-teacher last block. Good job, Casey. My next warm fuzzy goes out to Miss Nia Dennis for being a super leader and a super mom. So proud of you for how you've handled everything life has thrown at you this year. Also want to recognize Marcus Good for setting and crushing his goals. Good job, Marcus. 
really proud of you. Warm fuzzies go out to Miss Emma as well, Emma Schultz, for being just a wonderful listener. Warm fuzzies to my friend Violet for just having the courage to be vulnerable. That's such a wonderful asset to have. So good job, Violet. Also some warm fuzzies going out to Mr. Nell Dotson for having just the most creativity I've ever seen in a human being. Good work, man. Warm fuzzies go to our friend, super dad and super grandpa, Mr. John Clockman for, you will not believe this, or maybe you will, clearing off a snow covered car in the parking lot. Thank you, John, for all that you do and also the snow clearing. Warm fuzzies go out to Anna Lockman for getting a new J-O-B. Congrats, Anna. Good job. And we wish you the best of luck. Warm fuzzies go out to Mr. John Trey Counts for crushing it at Tree Trust Youth Build this year. Super proud of you, bud. And finally, last warm fuzzies that I have uh, go out to Mr. Kyle Murphy for being everyone's favorite curmudgeon and also doing the the impossible, making the impossible possible um, and taking care of us, making sure that we get to school and we can be safe when we're in school. So thank you, Kyle. Warm fuzzies go out to all of you. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Make sure you're drinking water. And if no one's told you today how much you are loved, I love you so much. Take care. Last but not least, remember, if you earned the Court of Honor in Block 5, if you were Student of the Month, we got a lot of donations and gift cards are donated that you get for doing such a great job. So be sure to connect with your SSC to get your reward. We want to celebrate you. Speaking of rewards and celebrations, Adam is up next with our raffle drawing. Wizard, you're up, man. Hey, everybody. It's time for our monthly Court of Honor drawing. As you know, we're gonna go ahead and draw some names out of this bucket, and every time you earn 50 points in the Court of Honor, you can get your name in here for a drawing. So, our first $10 gift card winner is going to be... Shantae McCall. Congratulations to you. Our second $10 gift card is gonna go to none other than Malachi Gant. Congratulations to you, Malachi. And our third and final gift card $50. I'm curious as to who it's going to go to. Let's see. I think it'll go to Olivia Longfellow. Congratulations to you and to everyone else for doing such an amazing job in January. You knocked us all out of the park and I'm so excited to see all the great work that you're going to do moving forward in the rest of the year. So together we've got this. We can be strong, paladin strong. Have a great one.